folks, PC7 here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Grazy Land. We are here almost finished on our canola field, and I have made a few changes. Um, after doing a fair bit of harvesting, I thought, you know, we've used those uh, 560, class 560s for... Yeah, I don't know, two or three maps now, so I thought we'd try something a little bit different. And I've moved up to the class 780. Uh, this particular one is a Terra Track with a 12 meter head. <clears throat> and does seem to do a much, a much, much quicker job. So, we're going to go with those for a little bit. The only thing I really had to do, and we'll show you on the way out, um, None of the in-game header trailers would work to carry it, and since it's not a folding header like the last one, I couldn't do that either. So I have these. These are a small flatbed trailer. Now granted, the header does stick out a good six feet on each end, but it carried it perfectly safely over here, and I tried all three of the in-game headers. None of them did that. Um, that's why we've got a big whack of cash too, by the way. <laughs> I've been buying and selling headers and header trailers and trying to figure out something, something that would actually work. So, yeah. We have been doing quite a nasty on the canola harvest. I think we're at over 100,000 liters in the shed now. And, uh, well, we're not quite done. To say the least, we are not quite done. Now, it's kind of took a bit of a long way around, but that's okay. I have a fair idea of where I'm going, at least. <laughs> More or less. There we go. So let's have a look what sort of croppage we have, shall we? And uh, that's not going to do it for us. We've gone the wrong way is the problem. Boop. There we go. 113 currently. So, not too bad. And so far we've taken, well, a good 70,000 wheat off of <coughs> the other field. And I have moved on to field 5. Now, we don't own field 5. So, uh, all of the harvesting, of course, has to be done by hand. Whereas our canola harvester is, as you can see by the inspector mod, already off and running. So. And that is just fine. Whee! Now hopefully there won't be any sort of uh, issues. Whoops. This was one of the things, trying to get a header trailer through any of these. The gate would come down right on top of the header trailer. It's like it didn't recognize it. It would recognize the vehicle, but not the trailer. So, and we're in the wrong place. And yeah, I'm still picking up straw. So yeah, we are over here as well in field 5. Like I said, and I've got another 780 in there. There you can see our uh, Mercedes-Benz tractor with the uh, other trailer behind it that I used to haul the... Uh, Make sure I'm going the right way here. Uh, field 2 is the other one I want, actually, which is across here. Um, yeah, to haul the other trailer for the header. I came out the totally wrong, uh, wrong side of the farm. So I did. We wanted to be over here. Because that is going to be full, or is full already. It is full already. We didn't get to fit much in here, unfortunately, so... Yeah, as you can see, we're almost done this field. It has been a long harvest. Well, you see, I took a 100,000 off of there already without, uh, without finishing it, so we're going to do pretty darn good here. When we get around to selling this, it should buy us some fair stuff. I put one load of barley into the seed master when uh, we were harvesting barley. The rest I did offload. It, was it barley or wheat? Well, I put something in the seed master. Ooh, that almost fills this thing. <laughs> I 
We might as well just grab the last two or three hundred here. And yeah, I think it holds 13.5, so yeah. Might as well just do her. There's two. Three. Yeah, it fills it at a pretty quick rate. Much better. So pretty good response on the first episode. I really want to thank you guys. I'm glad you are uh, happy with uh, this being the decision to what we would be uh, running on for a while. It's uh, it's a really nice map, at least so far. I'm pretty impressed. The uh, the other thing I noticed were the uh, for some reason the 550s. Yeah, it was 550s I was running. Um, seemed to be a little bit on the laggy side. I'm not a hundred percent sure what was up with that, but they did indeed seem to be a just a bit laggy. Um, I haven't noticed that with the terror tracks, so kind of cool. And hopefully, I will uh, <laughs> get to actually unload this and get back there before it's full again. Yeah, uh, yeah, it looks like it. She's only 16. 16 percent. Alrighty, here we go. Please come to a stop. <clears throat> That's a pretty neat tipper trailer, eh? <laughs> With the split doors on the side. There we go. And seal it up. Beautiful. Open. I do like that all of the automated doors seem to uh, be working without bugs, which is nice. I noticed on a few maps people were complaining that automated door systems didn't seem to be exactly as reliable as they should have been. And no issues here. The map does seem to run really, really nice. It was, uh, again, I've gone for the wrong, the wrong one. That's alright. I know we can just zip up the road here. So yeah, this is the field I've been doing by hand. I haven't gotten much of it. I think I've got uh, two headlands on each end and maybe one strip off of each side. So, here we go. Canola. Big fields. And although they are uh, not exactly flat, they do have their share of hills. So far it has not been an issue, even with the... Uh, Even with the bigger header. Okay, he's doing fine. I thought for a moment there he might be uh, having issues, as it were. But he seems fine. Perfect. So, let's uh, quickly zip back across here. So I've got a bunch of straw still to pick up. Ooh, yes, do we have a bunch of straw to pick up, let me tell you. Um, we're going to have a bunch more, too, because that barley field is going to uh, supply us a fair bunch. Now, I dumped one trailer of straw into that ginormous silage tower that we have on the farm. So we'll see how that goes. And let me guess, you're as far away as you can be? Sure. I'm thinking I can see it across the top of all this. There it is. Hello, hello. <laughs> We'll get there. Like I say, these are not small fields. A 6.6 .6 meter harvest. Well, I think I spent two hours yesterday. And, uh, as you can see, didn't even get the uh, canola field. Now, the little wheat field, or barley field, whatever the heck it was. Wheat field, this is the barley. Um, the little wheat field did considerably better. So, and as you can see, um, I am once again... I am once again making use of my GPS mod as uh, <laughs> well like I said before guys driving a straight line especially with uh, something that's got a big header is this thing 
eh, it doesn't always work so well for me. And I end up with these weird uh, either pieces missing all over the place or I'll end up where I'm uh, overlapping and being inefficient or uh, underlapping. Is there such a thing? No? Oh, okay. Well, you know what I mean, though. Uh, not cutting nearly enough to be efficient, so... Yeah, these seem to be uh, fairly decent. I mean, they're nice-looking models, that's for sure. You know, the header is uh, really good. I like the way that it is actually feeding it to the center. See that? And you can see it goes up through the chute. Really, really nice. You've got good animations on the... Uh, auger. You can even see that the auger is actually an auger as opposed to a spinning wheel. We got the fan in there. I like the exhaust has actually got some color to it. And that's something I kind of went, well, what's with this weird clear exhaust <laughs> that they've gone and put into our game? Hmm, yeah. I was not, uh, not terribly impressed with that, I'm afraid. Not so much. And we are almost full. Nice. What does it carry? 12.5? Wow. Good haul. There we are. Let's roll her back a couple of feet. Uh, the one thing I have noticed, and although I've noticed it with a few vehicles on this map, uh, although I, I'm sure it's the vehicles, and oh look, the fan stops spinning. Cool. Um, I'm sure it is the vehicles and not the uh, map, but it seems like things really have a uh, bit of a hard time slowing down. Like I'm quite often overshooting. So <clears throat> now I believe this truck holds a little bit more. The other one's only 13.5. I think this guy holds about 17. So that's not bad. But as we can see, it's not exactly empty. Uh oh. It's almost full, as a matter of fact, so... Hmm, we'll have to empty this one. And I wonder if we shouldn't... Uh, see if we can make some practical use out of it. Maybe we'll dump it into one of the animal bins or something. Just for something to do. Is that just a big empty field? Field 6? Looks like it, eh? And... Jook! Yeah, I think we might do that. Let's just, uh... Yeah. Let's see about giving some of this to the animals. Oh, the straw, that is, the next time. Now, do I really want to cut all the way across the field? Not really. Let's quickly zip around this guy. See, see. And I don't really want to drive on the roads, because then I'll get hung up in traffic. <laughs> But no, I'm going to leave the traffic thing on, because when we go to do things like, oh yeah, uh, go to do things like delivery, um, I think this will help us out. I do, I do. Well, I mean, not help us out, but I mean, it'll certainly add a little bit of realism. So there's our straw collector. Then, uh, Sitting there slack for a little while, actually. Open says me. Alright. Oh, I know we can do this. I haven't quite filled the seed master. So. How about if we, uh, see if we can't fill this up. At least top it off. Ooh wee! Smokes. How much did they? Uh, whoops. <laughs> okay. That probably wasn't something you want to do. Oh boy. What do we got here? Ninety-one percent with thirty-two sunflower. Huh? Sunflower? I didn't put sunflowers in there. Weirdos. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Apparently, uh, 32,000 isn't, uh, isn't quite full. It's only 90%, so, yeah. All right, well, <laughs> that's one way to do it. 
And yes, our canola harvester is once again looking for some help. So we will get right on that. Open. And sneak across between the traffic. Cut across the end of the field and we're good to go. No traffic, no traffic, no traffic, hooray. Alright. And here we go. Perfect. Oh, we are almost done. That's freaking amazing. <laughs> Apparently the shadows are longer than the pipe. <laughs> okay. So we know not to do that. And there we go. Oh, not much. It still looks like it's going over the edge. Stop truck. Alright. It's only got what, two more passes. Ooh. Barely two more passes, considering I've already got a headland on that edge of the field. Nice. Very, very nice. And, yeah, see? He comes up a, a thousand short of actually filling this truck. So, we might as well, right? Oh, too fast. It just hardly seems worth going all the way down there, leaving a thousand empty on the truck for no particular reason. Huh, does some rather weird animations when you get uh, more room than you need, doesn't it? That's okay. Here we go! The uh, windows are really dark tinted in this truck, that is one thing I've noticed. That's okay. Hopefully you guys can see... <laughs> uh, I wasn't sure that gate was going to uh, be as cooperative as I might want it to be. So, yeah. <clears throat> you need to be the ninja this month. It's already back up to 14% to the harvester. Nice. Hmm. This truck seems to have a bit of a tilt to it, even on solid ground. It's a little bit strange. Hmm. such confidence he zooms back out to the field. Of course you get tire tracks to follow so I don't get lost. <laughs> there we go, look at that. Like a pro. Alright. Of course it's all the way around the other end of the field actually. There's our buddy the harvester. Why does he not... Oh yeah, he's going. He's a going. Oh, is he actually getting the rest of it? He is too. So this is going to be the last run for the canola. Nice, and we'll uh, get up to the end of the row. That way we can unload this right off. Cool. We have almost 
almost finished. Come on, truck, stop! <laughs> it's actually just rolling down this hill. Will you stop? I'm at the point where uh, I can't even get this to catch up. That's just funny. That is funny. That's kind of weird, that animation where it doesn't have enough to... Uh, I guess it just doesn't have enough to fill the pipe, so it's spurting out what it can. Hmm. It can apparently offload faster than it can upload, or inload, or onload? I don't know. The heck's the opposite of offload? It's gotta be onload. That it? That is it. Hmm. Let me shut this off. Hop in here. We'll go pipe in. Oh, am I not yet in control? Sure I am. Come on. Oh. There we go. And we'll fold the top. Oh, that's cool. That rear door also folds. And then, I'm not sure what it is, but there's something out here. See, we've got fold header as well. I don't know. I see it kind of... I'm not sure what the heck it's supposed to be doing when it says fold header, to be honest with you. But, uh... Hmm. Alright, now... Keep forgetting the hired worker turns it off, and of course puts the e-brake on. Now, how are we here? Um, field 5 I'm dealing with. Field 2 is done, that's the one we just finished. Field 3, can't touch that. <laughs> that's potatoes. Um, Field 1 and Field 4, eh? Hmm. Well, it looks like we could probably head across to Field 4. Um. Okay. Now, if I cut through... Five and then one, I can come up on the other side of four without having to go... <clears throat> ah, the heck with it. Let's figure out where our trailer is. And drop this on. There it is. And then we will run this guy over to field four. Oh, we'll have to do by hand as well, because I don't think we actually own it, do we? Uh, oh, we do. It is one of our fields. Hmm. It's, uh, you just wait there. Probably a little better idea. here. And into the cannoli field we go. Alright. 
And we'll head down here, hook that up. shall we? Okay, that seems to be a little off the edge. There we go. We to be in fairly close to the tractor with that. Not enough that we're going to bang it when we try to corner. There we go. How's that look? A little further. Okay. Now, ta-da. As you can see, it sort of looks like it's sort of floating above all of that. But, uh, I know, it doesn't look the most realistic, but you know something? It actually works. So, where the heck were we going? We are going two feet and four. Yeah? Hmm. So I think, coming through here, yeah, that'll get us into field three. And then field four should just be up at the other end. Nice. There's field four. See, I don't know that I'd make any uh, 50 kilometer an hour turns or anything. But, let's see. As far as being a header trailer, I've seen worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the ones offered in game. There you go. That's worse. Okay. Look at this. Nice big field. Arr. And this one's ours. So we will be able to uh, set up Billy Bob while we get on with other things. There we go. Should be plenty of room for the harvester to get in between. Do, 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 do. I do got to pick up more straw. You are doing pretty much nothing. You are doing... You can go to the other field now too, right? Right. Oh, you still got a little bit of that in you, don't you? Uh -huh. So we'll empty this. That'll give us a final tally of how we did on canola harvest. And I'm a tinkin, we done pretty good. Pretty darn good indeed. So do 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 Oops, I don't want to go that way, I'd have to cut through the building. Don't really want to do that. We can go around. No problem. There we are. Sneak in through there. Avoid the way scale and all that. See, as you can see, there's some straw. A couple of trailers worth, anyway. Head around here. There's our forestry gear. And we almost didn't make the turn. <laughs> here we go. This will be the last, well, the last of that particular canola harvest, anyway. Okay. Come to a stop. There you are. Now, let's figure it out. It's all in there. So, we ended up with 156,000 liters of canola. Not bad. I think we can make a buck or two when we sell that. I think, I think, I think. And field four. Bump is right out the door. Is there an entrance? Oh, look at that. What more could you ask for? Ta-da! Cool! 
Well, that didn't take much effort. Not much effort at all. Awesome. So let's park you. Right about here, old dude. Throw the e-brake on, because like I say, things seem to want to flop about, as it were. Alright, you need to make your way over to field four. So we'll take you across the same path. There we go. Do -do 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 -do. And there's our trailer, there's our header. Yeehaw. We'll definitely have to do a couple of headlands. All of the fields um, do have trees that are going to interfere with just straight up cutting. And not a problem, eh? I mean, uh, <laughs> unlike FS13, if a tree really, really doesn't want to cooperate with you, we'll cut it back down. We all know we can. Yes, sir. And even for those people that don't really like running forestry as a part of their normal game... Oops. <laughs> the trailer a bit of a boing. It's still a wonderful feature to have. I mean, good lord. It's actually the ramps. It ticks off the top of the ramps, but you don't want to be using them because uh, it'd be pretty much ridiculous. Alright, so yeah, we're going to want to run a headland or two. And then uh, we're going to proceed with harvesting field four as well. Basically going to take any crops that are standing at this point. So... Turn on the yip, yes, and we're going to need to uh, definitely wide that puppy up a bunch. How's that looking? Probably about right, eh? So, let's click that guy. We need to open, says me. Nice. Should drop the little tail flap, too. I like that. I don't think I've seen that on any other harvester. Cool. How are we here? Do we have... Uh, it doesn't tell us yet, does it? Because I'm not sure if I actually want the straw this time, to be honest with you. Not really. Uh, I know what we need to do. I do forget about this sometimes, but we need to unfold the header. There we go. Boom. Now, we can actually uh, get this one underway. So I think, guys, that's... Uh, let's get her started up. And put the GPS on. I can actually run a straight line. How's a swath? Uh, looks like we don't have one, so let's produce one. Yes, indeed, we are going to make straw like a boss. <laughs> so, but I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. This is our second trip onto Crazy Land. I know, Crazy Land. So, till next time. Please leave your like button, lots of punches on it. Just tap the heck out of it. You guys know how to do that, right? <laughs> leave lots of comments. I do answer them. Um, it's been really good suggestions. Any sort of map reviews and such, if you guys want to see them. I did have one suggested, and I have downloaded the map. Um, and we'll be putting up a review of it. There's Bjorn something. It is, again, a remake of the Bjorn home map. But, uh, yeah, any sort of suggestions, comments... Please feel free to put them down below in the appropriate section. And until then, this has been Species 7 for Farm Sim 15. We are on Grazy Land. And, uh, well, take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now. <laughs>